person. Kind of weird, but I guess I, I get it. A while back, I was, I guess I was surfing through Pinterest or something, and I found this picture of this really large canvas and leather bag. I fell in love with it, and I was like, what is this bag? Who makes this bag? Tell me about this bag. And everybody else was asking the same question. It was a vintage Hermes canvas and leather bag. There's just something about the design of it, the, the way that the, the leather had patinaed and the canvas, and it didn't even bother me that it was beat up. I actually kind of like that because I like old things. So I went searching for something that looked like it. Once I found out what it was and I realized there's no way I'm going to spend that much money on a bag. I, I mean, I'm not even going to consider it. And so I wanted to show you what I found that is sort of, sort of, kind of. I have a whole Pinterest page, which I'll link below, on Hermes lookalikes. Some of them are cheaper, some of them aren't. The first one I wanted to show you is um, this. Now this is actually some sort of a security bag. It's got this metal thing here that you put a lock through. So you can transport um, uh, money in. Uh, but they're really kind of cool because if you can get one that's clean, and this one is, it looks practically unused. So I wanted to tell you some of the features of it. So first of all, it's canvas bag, um, kind of like a doctor's satchel, big size. You could, you know, you could use it as a weekender. It's got leather uh, buckles here on each side. Of course, it's got this place for the lock. And this is, I mean, you couldn't break into this very easily. It's, this is solid le uh, metal, big brass plates, and they are like, embedded into the design of the bag. So you take these buckles off and inside it's just, it's huge. Okay, so it's got leather handles that have already patinaed and then this leather trim around here and around the bottom. And this is a pretty heavy duty bag. Even got uh, things on the bottom. The um, This one doesn't have any kind of monog um, not monogram, but stencil on it. Some of them have the stencil of the bank or something. It did have writing here that said C Center, which stood for City Center, um, and I covered it up with um, some metal tags that I have. I had to cover it on both sides. These are made by Can Pros, and um, you can find them on eBay. Look for Can Pro bags, and they have all kinds of different, and they, they made these for banks and um, armored car vehicles to transport their goods in. You could use that as a weekend bag. If you, if you like this look, look for those online. The next bag I want to show you is a little bit more like the inspiration bag that I showed you earlier. And it is this one. Isn't that lovely? Um, it has that type of flap that the inspiration bag had, which is um, something that, that the Hermes bags like that have, a similar flap. It's a real pain to get this secure, so I'm not going to show you how to do it, but you basically have to put these rings, which on this bag, because it's cheap, um, are not fixed. They move, and so it makes it hard to get them into the, into the little thingies. But most people just tuck, them on the, tuck this flap on the inside, and that makes this work more like a tote. I found a little lock to put right through there. So when it's all closed up, it's, it's very secure, but it is just a pain to close it up. So anyway, what do I use this for? Well, I keep, I keep shoes in it. Um, I keep it by the door, and all those shoes that just tend to accumulate go in here. And they're, they're hidden, and it's, uh, it's attractive, just laying... Uh, laying there in the living room or, or by a door. It does have some flaws. You know, it was uh, pre-owned and it has some watermarks and uh, signs of age. And I feel like I fulfilled that 
that longing for that bag that I saw in the inspiration picture without paying a small fortune. Um, inside it's got a ton of room. You can see all my shoes are in there. And it's uh, the tag, the only tag inside of it says made in Paraguay, I believe. Paraguay. So there's no maker mark or anything like that on it. And I did find it on Etsy. And uh, it's, it's even got a crossbody strap. There we go. Hooks on. Hooks on this one. See? That, that'll be handy. Um, like I said, it's a good size for a weekender, and uh, I think it's just fun. It's just a fun bag. I'm glad I found it. So then I got to looking at some other bags that look like, kind of like the Hermes, the Birkin style bags, and I found this cutie. This is Duty and Burke. It's called the Elisa bag, and it's uh, in the Florentine leather. It's a really cute bag. Um, the way it opens is you pull this little thing here and you just lift that up and it has that sort of um, Birkin flap and then you open it up. The problem with it is it's teeny tiny. This is the small one and it's a pain to get into. I mean I'm literally, I'm a tote girl I know, or zipper top. I want to reach in and not have to go through um, a Chinese puzzle to get in and out of my bag. But it's a pretty bag. I have carried it. I will carry it again. But it's just not a daily carrier for me because it is um, a little complicated to get in and out of. What I tend to do is tuck this back here, like in there, and then this is just a flap. And it stays closed real well because it's got that, that little um, thing there and it's fixed and so it, it is it does go on and off pretty easy so if you look and then they make a larger version of this that's just a little too large for me so this one's too small and the other's too large and I guess I'm hard to please it really is a favorite of mine just I like the way that the leather does this at the bottom that was one of the things I liked about that inspiration bag that I showed you if you're looking for a Birkin style bag there's a lot of options out there that are not as expensive as the Hermes bags. They're nowhere near the cost of the Hermes bags. And the Elisa by Dooney and Burke, and you can find them on Poshmark, and you can find them online on eBay, is a good option. I really like this bag, and they have them in like different color combinations, where they'll be like, this body is a color and this is leather. Um, but it's, it's a really, really cute bag. I just wish it was easier to to use to get in and out of. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.